What's up? But it's Rob, this is Apparel Success. And in this video here, I want to share with you what my days look like growing my clothing brand here in Kelowna, British Columbia. I This is going to be more of a laid back video. I just thought it would be cool to make a video where I share with you a bit more of what my life actually looks like, what I what it looks like to grow my businesses on a daily basis. And it might offer you some insight into, you know, just how your lifestyle can look if you decide to do this full time at some point and I hope that it's insightful. So here it is. Apparel Success is sponsored by my buds over at Design Crowd. And if designs are something that you struggle with, I recommend that you give them a shot. These designs sell like fire through my website and I got them all made through Design Crowd. If you're interested, head over to designcrowd.com forward slash apparel to learn about the special offer that I have for you or simply use the discount code apparel when you post a project on Design Crowd. So, my lifestyle has really changed since I first started up my clothing brand about six years ago to where I'm at today, the way that I live, how my days are run, it's all so different. And honestly, even in the past five months, it's changed like crazy simply because I switched from packing all the orders in-house to partnering with a fulfillment company. But basically, you know, I started up my clothing brand while I was working full time as a video editor at TSN for Sports Center. For two years, I was working as a video editor at Sports Center. I'd go into work. Half of my day was spent video editing. The other half of my day was spent at work working on my clothing brand. I'm so sorry if you hear this, but that's what I was doing. I was sitting on my computer and in the downtime, I'd be working on my brand, working on the site, ripping Instagram, trying to grow my brand. And honestly, through doing that and through working with my partner at the time, we built the brand big enough to eventually leave our jobs and do what we do full time. And ever since I switched from working full time as a video editor to being full time into my businesses, it just freed up so much time to work on my businesses that everything just sort of took off enough that I've been able to maintain it for the past four years. And for the first two years after leaving my job, I was struggling to pay rent every month and my ego, my pride wouldn't let me accept any money for my parents when it came to paying for rent and things like that. So I really was like determined to keep growing my brand, determined to keep all of this growing so that I could maintain this lifestyle of not having to work for somebody. And you may have heard me talk about this on the channel before, but there were moments driving home from work where I remember driving home, I had about a 40 minute commute and I would literally be like screaming in my car. Like I hated work that much. I felt claustrophobic at work. I felt like I couldn't leave the place of work, otherwise they'd fire me. So I literally felt like stuck in my job. And as ridiculous as that sounds, that's just kind of the way that I've always been when it comes to working jobs. And I've worked a million different jobs in my life and none of them really made me happy. And I knew that, you know, I have to be doing something creative all the time. It's sort of like me breathing. I just have to do it. And so being able to make this happen was like priority number one. And there were a couple of years where I sacrificed a lot, a lot of my time, a lot of fun, just to get my businesses to the point where they're really, you know, able to sustain themselves. And now, you know, I have enough momentum with both of my businesses that it comes fairly easy to me at this point. But there was a stage back in the day where I was clawing and really struggling day in, day out to just get the brand, get the business to a point where it was enough to be legit and I could actually take it on full time. And for the past four years or so, up until about five months ago, I was packing all of the orders in house. So my day to day was basically like running the Facebook ads, making sure that all the Facebook ads were good, shooting content for TikTok, shooting content for Instagram, designing new designs for new releases, sourcing products and sampling products just to see how they look. And packing orders took up like 60% of my time, just me and my friends packing orders all the time. 
And once it got to a point where the orders was just too much, which is a great problem to have, but it was like, this is just monopolizing all of my time. You know, I, I pulled the trigger probably a little too late on this, but in around May of this year, I switched to partnering with a fulfillment company that now handles all of my inventory and does all of my order fulfillment. And so now my, my day to day looks so different. What my day to day looks like now is I live in my condo here in Kelowna, British Columbia. All of the people that I work with that help me out with my clothing brand, my bookkeeper, my accountant, a designer, um, somebody helping me out with customer support with the Facebook group and things like that. All of that's done through Zoom calls and phone calls and texting. I don't work with anybody on a, on a daily basis. I basically just work from home, growing my own brand. And obviously I've got the team in Toronto that's working with all my inventory and fulfilling all of my orders that I'm pretty close with, that I'm in contact with every day. But I don't have to actually be there anymore. So my, my daily activities is basically waking up you know, hopping on my laptop, checking to see how the Facebook ads are going, checking to see where everything's at. There's certain projects that happen at different times throughout the year. So, you know, if you're gearing up for a spring launch, there's a lot of work that goes into coming out with the designs, the design concepts, sourcing the products, and you spend a lot of time just playing around with different looks and trying to figure all that out. And then maybe that goes away for a little bit because you know, you've just launched some new products so you can take a breather and more of your focus goes into creating content for social media, working on your Facebook ads. And basically every single day I wake up and the first thing that I do is I look at the Facebook ads. I want to see how my ad spend is going and how my TikTok ad spend is going. And I just want to make sure that I'm still profitable, that things are still rolling here and that I'm constantly growing this thing bigger and bigger. Once a week or so, every Wednesday, I have a call with my bookkeeper where we go over how the last month went and we break down the profit and loss and make sure that everything's being recorded right in terms of you know where everything's being allocated so that when it comes time for taxes and things like that, that everything is nice and in place. The first like four years, I went trying to do all of that on my own manually, like without using QuickBooks and things like that. And what a nightmare that is, especially for more of a creative mind like, like myself, where I'm not very good with numbers. So doing all of that on my own was horrible. And so I hired a bookkeeper and it's just absolutely changed the game for me. And uh, yeah, I mean, I sit at my desk here at my condo and I sit on my laptop and whatever big projects need to get done that week, that day, that's what I set my mind to and that's what I get done. And to be honest, this YouTube channel here has become such a powerful business on its own, helping other clothing brands grow their brands, that the amount of time it requires for me to shoot these videos, come up with ideas for you from things that I'm going through with my own clothing brand and share that on here and just organize for this YouTube channel, I really had to switch over to using that fulfillment company out of Toronto because maintaining, packing all the orders, working on my clothing brand, doing all that stuff, while continuing all of this and making all of this continue to thrive, I don't think it would have worked nearly as well. So the fact that somebody else is handling that side of my clothing brand frees me up to make these videos for you. It frees up a lot of my time to just work on the areas of my brand that I'm good at and let other people handle the parts of my brand that you know, just, just, you could really hire anybody to do and that just need to get done on a daily basis. And every once in a while, I'll get some friends together. We're fortunate enough to live in British Columbia, which is one of the most beautiful places on the planet. And we'll just shoot some content. We'll have some fun for my clothing brand. And everybody just has a blast doing that. And you know, I'm, I'm not trying to pretend to be anything that I'm not here. Um, I have two businesses doing both well into the six figures a year. And that's, a great lifestyle business for me. I have a ton of fun doing all of this. And, you know, I think that to be completely honest, this speaking into the camera, talking about deep concepts and deep philosophies and psychologies that help business owners and specifically the psychology part, I think is very aligned with my strengths. And they say that you should build on your strengths. And so that's one of the joys that I get about shooting these videos is I just love this feeling of, of expressing to you ideas and articulating them in ways that I know are resonating in your brain in new ways that that just solidify and sort of 
help you so much grow your own businesses. And so that's why I've kept these YouTube videos up for so long and doing all of this. I absolutely love it. And then the creative side about building my brand. I'm also Canadian myself. My brand's Canadian. I love having that, that impact on Canadian culture. And that's basically where I'm at today. And I hope that everything continues to grow and I'm going to continue to push it to grow. And I just thought it would be cool for you to kind of see that that's what I've been doing and that that's what my days look like. I hope you liked it. And if you haven't already, you can check out my free clothing brand marketing masterclass where you can learn even more about the story of my clothing brand in particular and how that's grown throughout the years. You can get access at apparelsuccess.com slash masterclass and it's free to watch. And if you've made it to this point in the video, I want to tell you about the closed Facebook group that we have for Apparel Success. There's a link in the description. Follow that link. Join us in the group. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.